found in car. This is a strategic uh, version. If you are facing an adversary that really wants to hurt you, in a business way especially, there are two ways the animal kingdom teaches us. One is you take something that is a constant for them away, what a lion does, eh? for example, they attack like a regular predator and they take it head on oftentimes and they will take what they, they take away, they take away the blood. So they get to a bleeder oftentimes, often in a throat area where it's easily accessible and then the animal will lose consciousness because it bleeds, it's just bleeding to death. That could be a way. Another way could be what you can learn from the animal kingdom is that you don't take anything away from it that's already in the animal, the prey animal, but you take something that they, from external that they really need, take that away. So if you could compare the lion that is sieging a city, destroying the city wall and taking out the valuables, the blood in this case, then for example a constricting type of animal like a boa constrictor, a python, an anaconda will wrap itself around it, so like sieging, uh, no, uh, not si directly sieging a city but surrounding it and cutting off oxygen in this case. So what they do, an animal inhales, so the chest pops up and exhales again and every time it ex inhales it, it comes to the uh, restriction of the boa that is already surrounding it but once it exhales the constriction becomes tighter and tighter so they have less room to inhale again and that will cause enormous stress and why is that because they have less oxygen in the blood for example if that would be half then the heart needs to pump double the amount of blood to the body to keep the oxidative stress and keep the oxygen levels uh, starvation to a minimum. So that will also not only put strain on the lungs but also strain on the entire body and the heart. And oftentimes they they say they will squeeze and break the heart but that's not the case oftentimes. The heart will go harder and harder and harder and of course after a while by constricting it they will also limit uh, the heart in its pumping ability but especially that the lungs are diminished in inhaling again. So that's what's happening. If you compare it again with the city, it's surrounded. And you cut off the additional food that they need, additional water sources, etc. And then the city will surrender itself. A less way, but that's oftentimes depending on the circumstances, more of what the cro crocodile does, or shark, so to say. So they are the lords in their own environment, eh? oftentimes the water. And they take another uh, animal that tries to cross that and they fight in their preferred environment and then they are able to what a crocodile does but also a shark does crush and tear off so they will tear off parts limbs and that is a very aggressive way but they wait first they wait they are very patient and they wait until your adversary comes into that environment where you are the Lord, you rule there. And that's what a crocodile does, he waits patiently till they come very close to the water side and they strike, or even in the water, like a shark does. So I hope this helps and it shows you the, the strategies that nature is teaching us that can also be applied to business, but only, only if there's a real adversary that's trying to destroy your company of course because normally I would always advise go for the win-win oftentimes you can have uh, work things out and be better together than you would be as opposing forces but if all things fail it's good that you know some tricks that nature is teaching us hope this helps Vano and Car out